M0FXB, welcome back to the channel. Have you ever heard of the Alance HD1 or 2? This is the 2 model, okay? Lovely screen, solid device, and highly recommended DMR, VHF, UHF. But it's about mm, nearly £200. Now, look at the radio I've got underneath. This is the Alance HA1G, only about £60. No DMR, but has VHF, UHF, PMR, GMRS, and probably FRS if you're in the USA. I'm in the UK, so I'm not really an expert on that. But take a look here, it's a lovely set. I've watched quite a few videos on this set. So I won't waste too much time unboxing it. I'll just get everything out. You can see that there is the Alence HA1G manual. I always get a cable, yeah? Because I think for the, like four pound more, you may as well. Uh, look, it looks like the antenna's already connected on that particular cable, which is good. Drop-in charger. No, it's not USB-C charging. It's, it's been around for a few years. Belt clip, and looks like we've got a, a charging thing there with USB-C on it, on the actual base. Let me just check that the radio, see if the radio, maybe it is USB-C. Okay, completely wrong about that. Look, USB-C has been put into the battery. And it's a nice size. Let's get it on the table and we'll compare it to the other one. You think £60 delivered? So that's what's in the box then. The base charger, the USB-C, the belt clip, the, the strap, the wrist strap, the actual radio and the charging cable. I'm, for, for what I've paid for this, I'm very pleased so far. My first impressions are excellent. And if you put it next to the HD2, it's the same size. I thought it was smaller, probably a bit thinner. We'll leave that there in the background because I do love those sets, they're beautiful and when you TX they go red and when they receive they go green and I think this one does the same thing. Now I, I am brand new to this device but as soon as I saw it I liked it a lot. I like the way that they styled the PTT with that yellow colour, full keypad there, menu and exit, very recognisable format. With uh, Alence they do tend to have the screw on uh, microphones and programming software and we're going to do that now the programming software is a bit different on this device uh, because it actually has zones even though it's not a DMR radio so it looks like you just pull that forward and it slides down so just do that slide him down that's a solid battery and it's ooh, where's the ampere 2800 I don't think these have any kind of GPS uh, HA1 unit is a GMRS model, but they do get VHF, UHF. I will put the belt clip on, but you know, not this second. So let's just uh, quickly look at the buttons. And it looks like you've got the on off channel change and you've got this sort of grid around it. Nice, nice chunky antenna. Very nice. Uh, quite a long S SMA, isn't it? That's unusually long. Um, <laughs> Solid, it, it won't break off as easy. Emergency button, big LED there. That's your your, um, your programming connector and programmable buttons. I, I think it's, you know, this is way nicer than getting a UV K5. You know, you pay £40 more, but you get a proper, you know, solid set. And you, you would not be worried about dropping this and it's completely waterproof. I've seen loads of videos people running the tap over these and they do not get you know they don't, they keep working um, so anyway USB-C in the battery which is the way it tends to be going in these days so let's just do the first time turn on and um, so I, I've literally never turned it on ever but oh that's lovely that is a beautiful beautiful set so um, let's just go I'm, I'm gonna guess now so that's your exit so if we do the star, A and B, look. And are we, are we in, let's see if we're in, I think we're in channel mode because it says C there. So if we go up and down, we're on the B. So let's go to the A with the star. And then we're going to go up and down. I will say that the blue against the black is, isn't the easiest to see. But uh, anyway, just pointing that out. So if I hold down exit, I'm pretty sure we'll go into VFO mode. We do. There you are. And if I put in my node, which is four, three, four, five, five, zero, zero, zero. Was I meant to put the dot in? Ah, that's lucky, wasn't it? <laughs> I like it a lot. 
That just sounds brilliant. Thanks, Mark. Look yeah. at that big LED. Yeah, the link over. Actually, I'm going to really enjoy um, using this set. Send me some seaweed, Mark. So oh, we go I to the B the band. Door. And we'll <laughs> hold it down, go to VFO mode. And we'll just type in one four five six zero 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 menu just to show you that it is VHF UHF. Let's turn it down. Now, if I just turn the channel knob, nice big channel knob actually. You can see that I'm quite impressed with this already, and I've only just took it out of the box. So channel knob. Yeah, you can see it's changing the B band. Also, you heard about there you go. And it's dual receive, but it's dual watch, do you know? Pretty sure you can't hear two at the same time, but if you can, we'll soon find out. Uh, well, let's do a test. So it's very unique in, in how it works, and we've still got a lot more to do with this, and a lot more to learn with this. I'll be adding repeaters, ETC. Bye for now. Okay, let's have a quick look at the menus and then we'll, do, we'll start to do some videos learning this radio in the future. So, radio settings, display mode, band settings, backlight, key functions, you can program the keys, audio, box, have a look at the audio, audio enable, mic gain, it's got mic gain, backlight, band setting, A and B, Display mode, oh yeah, we can choose frequency name or channel. Key functions, let's go into one. And these are all the different items that you can select. Well, that's quite a bright screen, isn't it? Emergency set, inverse frequency, FM radio, zone minus, zone plus, scan. I notice there's a scan. If you come out all the way, if you hold down this, look. Scan, starts to scan, hold it again. Yeah, nice. And if you go, you've got all shortcuts here. If you go menu, CTC, let's do another one. Menu, TX power, it takes you to the sort of entry menu, not to the actual one. Wide and narrow, step, timeout tone like ctcss tone that one let's do let's try it oh it took me to emergency that one let's do it again menu six mm. so yeah it's uh and then you've got a squelch one there menu squelch so anyway so menu keep going down these call a tone it's, it's a quite a unique isn't it radio turn the radio on press the menu button interesting and you can Turn the knob or go up and down. See if it scans if I hold the button. No, if I hold this. Okay. Let's turn that off for now. Exit. Weather settings. Weather alarm, NOAA. If you're in the USA, really. Factory reset. It's got zones, as we said earlier. All channels, oh, so you can have all channels or go to zones. Unusual that it's got zones, but I get it. You can group your favorites into different zones, a bit like banks. Channel settings, and yeah, you, by default, you've got GMRS in there. It's, it's an unusual looking radio. It's not ugly, and it's, it's, uh, it's just I'm not used to this format. So exit, menu, scan. So yeah, you can see that we're going to have a bit of learning on this one. Get some repeaters in there and some favourite channels. It doesn't do airband, unfortunately, but at least it had USB-C charging. Thanks for watching so far. Bye for now.